I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a question relating to midpoint of a segment. Let me thank the subscriber who have posted this question. Question is, points A, square root 2, 4, B, 6, minus square root 3, and C are collinear. Find C if B is midpoint of segment AC. So let me sketch the scenario. So we have a line segment, which is AC. We are given coordinates of the midpoint, which is B for us. And we need to find the coordinates of point C, correct? Points given to us are, for A, it is square root 2, 4. For B, it is 6 minus square root 3. And we don't know what are the coordinates for C, so I'll put X and Y. We'll apply the formula for midpoint to actually find coordinates of C. Uh, so normally, you know, if uh, midpoint points are normally uh, x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2, where x1, y1 and x2, y2 are the values on the endpoints. Correct. So we'll actually apply the same formula to solve this question also. However, here we are given the midpoint and we don't know the endpoints which are x, y. You can say x2, y2 are not known to you. Okay, so let's look into the x part. So, so we can say from here that the average of these two, think like this. x1 plus x2 divided by 2 is the average, right? So, so the average of these two is this. So this is the average. Do you understand? So that is easy way to understand the formula and apply it. So what we can do here is we can say square root 2 plus x divided by 2 is equal to 6. Do you understand? So what I did was that in this formula, I know the midpoint, right? So I use that midpoint value, 6 for now, and these two, x1, x1, x2 values, to get x value. And similarly, I'm going to solve for y also. So then I will use this formula, which is y1 plus y2, that is, 4 plus y divided by 2 should be equal to the y value, which is minus square root 3. Is this step clear to you? That is most important. I like you to pause the video, understand this step, and then we'll move forward and solve both sides, right? And we'll get both the points, correct? So let's solve. Solving is simple. Just cross multiply. Square root 2 plus x is equals to 2 times 6, right, which is 12. Bring this to the other side. So we get x equals to 2 times 6 is 12 minus square root 2. So we get the value of x. Similarly, on this side, we have 4 plus y equals to minus 2 square root 3. And the value for y is minus 2 square root 3 minus 4. Correct. So that is the exact value of x and y. Correct. And now we can write down our answer, which is coordinates of point C, coordinates of point C are x value is 12 minus square root 2 and the y value is minus 2 square root 3 minus 4, correct? If you want decimal equivalent, you can always use the calculator. So we do 12, 12 minus square root 2 equals to in decimals uh, and you can round this to let us say one decimal place so we'll do 10 point it is 10.58 i'll make it 10.6 and the other value is we have negative 2 times square root 3 minus 4 equals to in decimals it is negative uh, minus 4.5 7.46, I'll write this as minus 7.5. Is it okay? So that is how you could actually solve such a question. So these are very simple steps. The only thing is radical numbers sometimes confuse you a bit and that should not be a problem. I hope it helps. Thanks for posting the question and I hope all other viewers also enjoyed the solution. All the best and if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thank you.